Hello and welcome back. Today we've got another £500 worth of £2 coins we're hunting through. I think it looks like we've got bagged bags once again, which uh, can be lucky, can be unlucky. We shall see. Um, so ideally we want some new ones for the book. There's a link in the description to the books that I use. It is a commission paid link, so I do get a bit of um, a kickback if you make a purchase, just so you are aware. We need lots of different coins because we're not all that many episodes into filling this book. Any Commonwealth Games would be a lovely find to tick off one of those. But we've got lots of other ones. We're still missing Charles Darwin. That's my bogey coin at the moment. It's a fairly common coin that I would have expected to have turned up by now. But uh, there we go. We'll keep on hunting. Great Fire London as well. Not one that should be um, super scarce. Uh, I understand them not turning up every hunt. But uh, I would have thought we'd take some of those off, but uh, no, lots of exciting coins still to find, so let's get into this bag and see what we get. Okay then, let's get into the first bag. At least we do get to keep the bags and reuse them for bagging coins back up for the bank. Okay, so that's technologies. We don't particularly want technologies. We want some exciting commemorative coins. There are some technologies that the years are lower mint than others, just not low enough. I think they're worth keeping. Um, right, we've got Charles Dickens there. Very, very common. That takes Charles Dickens one more ahead of Charles Darwin, who's uh, been caught napping on the starting grid, unfortunately. But no, these, uh, there are some more common coins that... Uh, this is a great example of when I say this is a common coin. You should have no problems finding it in circulation. Um, you can still get stuck on them. Uh, I remember a 50p coin book. Was it the last one or the current one? It took me absolutely weeks to find a Paddington at this station, which again is a fairly common coin. Um, but every now and again, one of them will be a little bit tricksy. Right, we've got Jodie Clark's fifth and final portrait of the Queen. We know that's going to be something. It's a Shakespeare, Shakespeare's tragedies. Now, check the age inscriptions of these. What a piece of work is a man is the correct edge inscription for that coin. That's not the exciting error which we've found once in the past. It'd be an, a lovely error coin to find again. Oops, that one's all spilling out. And the rest of these. So these bag bags, the concern is that someone else has already looked through these and pulled out all the goodies. Um, oh, that's not a goodie. That is a baddie. That's a fake coin. Um, the reverse is, a, is, is, is quite convincing on this one, but the colours of the metals are slightly off. Um, and then the portrait of the Queen, that's one of the more convincing portraits of the Queen I've seen on a fake £2 coin. Um, but the wording is a little bit blurred, and the details aren't perfect. I've seen much worse portraits on fake coins. Um, and again, there's this weird metal, this weird sheen so it gives it away as a fake. It's got the edge inscription and that's quite convincing but it is definitely a fake. These do turn up from time to time and people always ask what do I do with my fake coins? I keep them. I've got a little collection of fake coins. Um, lots of people say oh your bank shouldn't be passing over fake coins. They should be checking. But the banks aren't going to have time to check through all of their coins unfortunately. I'm sure at the cash centres there is some sort of automated system and unfortunately that one's just managed to bypass uh, the automated system. Um, but we only ever find the odd fake coin. If I got a whole bag uh, full of fake coins then I might go to the bank and have a bit of a grumble but for the cost of £2 to me it's not worth uh, kicking up a fuss and I'm sure um, there are people out there that would pay more than two pounds for a fake coin. There are people that collect fake coins, bizarrely. Right, abolition of the slave trade. That's a very common coin. And then we've got the steam locomotive, which uh, I, I did think I used to find all that many of them. But since I've got the counters tracking them, I seem to be finding more and more of them. I don't know whether I've said again. I've said in the past. I don't know if it's a case of I was finding the same amount of them, but I wasn't keeping track of them like I am in this book. Um, so who knows right Lord Kitchener Lord Kitchener could be quite exciting it's always worth checking for the mule error you can tell by checking on the obverse the head side of the coin at the bottom flip it over it should say two pounds there and this one unfortunately does um, there was a, a case where uh, two dies two incorrect dies were paired to make that coin um, so you have the the, the uh, reverse the tails of the Lord Kitchener and the obverse head side of I think it's the Trinity house Right, another Shakespeare tragedies. Will you have the age inscription error? No. What a piece of work is a man. 
sadly not. Uh, I check all the edge inscriptions of the 2016 coins, as long as I remember, sometimes I do forget, um, during the videos. Uh, at the end of the video though, before we wrap up, I will flick through all the coins to look out for any other errors that I might have missed. Got the Rugby World Cup there, no rotation error on that one. And again, with the rotation errors and things like that, ones that we know are out there, I will, I, I will endeavour to check on video. Um, but I will check all the coins at the end for any others I might have missed. Right, another Shakespeare tragedies. What a piece of work is a man. So that is hunky dory, unfortunately. There's still a smidge of face value, these Shakespeare's, not enormously so. You won't be able to retire having found one, but. Oh, there we go, Lord Kitchen. I think that one did say £2. Yeah. So again, not the uh, uber rare and valuable error version of that coin. That would make for a very, very exciting coin. Right, should we do an edge hunt? See if we can rustle up something more exciting by doing an edge hunt. We can do that with two pound coins because they've got an inscription on the edge. If it says standing on the shoulders of giants, that'll be a definitive technology's design. Uh, anything else will be something more interesting, but I think this is all just technologies. Because of course, the edge inscriptions are unique to the designs. Hence why you can find the edge inscription error on that Shakespeare tragedy. But they put the wrong error. Uh, they put the wrong error. They put the wrong edge inscription on the coin, or they've minted the wrong coin because the edge inscriptions are put on before they get struck. As they've minted the wrong coin on the blank. Right. Piece of work has made another Shakespeare tragedy. My goodness. Four of them so far. Goodness gracious me. And then here we have King and Country, which should be the army centenary. It's a very common coin. Uh, that is the edge inscription that was erroneously put on. Oh, I missed one. Bruno's portrait. I must. Have, I didn't take another another check after pulling out that uh, army centenary. So um, that's me not uh, taking a few moments to double check rather than actually we should check that edge inscription just in case because maybe I didn't miss it. Isambard Kingdom. Bruno engineer. Da, 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 da. Nope, that's fine. If that had had the uh, standing on the shoulders of giants edge inscription and I just assume that I'd got it wrong. Could have missed out on that. Well, obviously, like I said, I will check through the coins at the end just to be WWE sure. Um, because some of them takes a bit more care to notice. And I'm just trying to flick through and pull out the commemoratives that we want to see. There's another Shakespeare tragedies. Oh my goodness, these coins are going to bankrupt me. What a piece of work is a man. There we go. We'll carry on with the hunt. But no, we've again. Oh, hang on. It's a little bit grubby, isn't it? DNA double helix. Again, it's been in circulation since 2003, so that has had a tough time out there. But uh, that's fine. It's a very, very common coin. We don't need to get. Um, upset that uh, if you found a really rare coin in that condition it's still exciting to find that rare coin but um, in that kind of condition it would be a little bit sad that it's been so beaten up but uh, it would still go in the book if that was Northern Ireland Commonwealth Games 100% that'd be going in the book in that condition but uh, we've got quite a few coins still to go in the book nothing new for the book so far We've got plenty of bags still to get through. You never know what's going to turn up. Another army centenary. Oh, I see what I didn't do. I didn't check the rotation error on that one, did I? I can't remember. And we know the edge inscription is fine on that one because that's how we spotted it. For king and country. So again, that's fine. I check all the 2016s because that seems to have been a bad year for the Royal Mint and their edge inscriptions. Right, nothing more there. Do have a feeling potentially these have already been sifted through. I mean, the fake coins kind of interesting. They turn up so infrequently, um, but they are kind of interesting little things to find. I still can't remember which which years I found as fakes before. Twenty like that's twenty thirteen. I can't recall if I found a fake twenty thirteen before. Okay, that's all fine more to be had out of that coin. Right, should we do another edge hunt? Come on, we need to we need a bit of luck here. 
let's see. Okay, we've got giants on the shoulders, giants uh, standing, giants, giants. Oh, there we go. In victory, magnanimity, the VE Day of anniversary. Again, very, very common that coin. Although next year is the 80th anniversary of VE Day, is it not? So I imagine we'll probably get an exciting coin to commemorate that. Whether it goes into circulation is a whole other question because we don't tend to get an awful lot of coins put into circulation. They're just minted uh, for collectors to purchase, which of course I buy, so I'm, I'm adding to the problem. Um, and with uh, the country using less and less cash, there is less and less demand for coins. Now the Charles Dickens there. So I'm sure, oh, that's Florence Nightingale as well. Very pretty coin, but again, very common. Um, I'm sure that the Royal Mint would love to circulate more coins. Um, they put a lot of work and effort and expense into creating them. I'm sure they'd love to be able to, to put them out in circulation, but there's just so little demand. And I think if there is demand, first out the door are going to be more of the new definitive coins. So. We'll have to wait and see over time. Alright, another army centenary. King and country. Oh dear. Right, we're onto the penultimate bag now. Right, come on. Rub it for luck. <laughs> this bag will have the Commonwealth Games in it. I'm sure of it. Let's cross our fingers and hope. If not, oh well. We'll try again. The next £2 coin hunt. Oh, upside down. Much nicer uh, DNA double helix there. Hasn't had quite as tough of a life as that first one we found. And we are on to the last bag already. My goodness gracious me, not to the most exciting hunt. But we start this bag with a commemorative we haven't had today as well. So we've got a nice little variety of the different commemoratives. Gunpowder plot there. As usual, in the description of this video though, you'll find... Oh, that's nice. You'll find links to my other social media channels, which you can go and follow me on if you so wish. Shakespeare's comedies, that's the rarest of the three Shakespeare's, all the world's a stage. Very, very nice. There's also links in the description to um, my coin collecting Discord server if you want to come and join me on that. Uh, my PO Box address if you want to write into me, and of course a link to the Britannia Coin Company's YouTube channel, company I work for as my day job, so please check them out too. I'm just going to whisk through all these coins now and see if there are any errors that I might have missed throughout the hunt. Well, 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 uh, nothing that is new for the book, unfortunately, but this coin, I have never found anything quite like this. Uh, so it's a 2015 uh, Technologies, not a rotation error. It is, if we look at the edge inscription, oh, I don't know if you can see it. So, it is partly milled, partly unmilled. You can see there, there's a split. So this bottom bit is milled, that top bit is not milled. It is fascinating. Um, the edge inscription is on there, all the way round. But I don't really know how this is even a thing. What has caused that? Because it rolls along the plate getting the edge inscription and the milling, doesn't it? So how has it got the wording perfectly? Oh no, the way the milling is done in the collar, isn't it? Duh, I've just uh, suddenly twigged. So the, the writing is put on as it's rolled through. And then when it is struck, it expands out, uh, hits the collar, holding it in place, which has the indents, which then transfer onto the edge inscription, uh, onto the edge of the coin and gives it the milling. So it must be like, is that a partial collar error? I think. But that is very, very cool. Uh, not an error I would have spotted if I didn't check all the edge inscriptions on all of the technologies ones. So that is very, very cool. Anyway, so no question about it. What the star find is, we'll chuck the, um, the fake coin in as a collateral because again, fake coins are always kind of interesting to see. Let me know in the comments uh, what you pick as the star find and uh, other, because other than this one, I didn't get an awful lot of star find. I'm nice seeing the Shakespeare's, but uh, 
they're not the most exciting coins. If you found an exciting two pound coin this week or last week in the last seven days, <laughs> we don't need to see receipts to prove it. Uh, then let me know in the comments what you found. All it leaves me to do now though is thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed and I'll see you next time for more coins. Bye.